The rain tower stretched upwards, vanishing into the gloom above. The two wanderers stood at the edge of the platform, where the stone floor gave way to an open void. Beyond the tower, the ruins expanded out, endless and still. The rain fell in a soft, steady rhythm, a constant song that echoed through the emptiness. The sound of it was gentle, almost comforting. The rain wasn't like anything they'd known from their previous wanderings. It was cool, but not cold, and each drop seemed to hang just for a moment before landing. It dripped from the ledges and the edge of the stone like beads of glass, shimmering faintly in the dim light that filtered through the ruins. It seemed to bring out all the smells of wet stone and moss, and perhaps it had its own smell too, something crisp and earthy, like the breath of the ruins themselves. The wanderers were still, breathing slowly, their limbs heavy from days of travel. Their feet were worn, aching from the endless climb, but here, in this brief pause, the weight of their journey lifted slightly. The air was damp, but not unpleasantly so. The gentle spray of rain touched their skin, a cool, misty relief. It was the kind of rain that soothed without soaking, its presence felt more than seen leaving a fine sheen of moisture on their cloaks and hair. They had taken to calling it the Rain Tower, for they believed the water fell from its summit. They didn't know for certain where the rain came from, only that it never ceased. High above, far beyond sight, they imagined the source, a hidden place at the tower's peak where the water poured down endlessly feeding the mist that shrouded the base of the tower. Reaching that summit, they thought, might reveal the secret of the rain tower. The wanderers, leaning against the cool stone pillars, looked out at the world around them. The distant ruins below seemed frozen in time, distant and unreachable, as though the endless rain had created a veil that separated them from everything else. The sound of the rain, though quiet, drowned out the silence of the ruins, making the vast emptiness feel far away. They were suspended in peaceful isolation. Strange to think that somewhere in those distant, tiny ruins were other wanderers like themselves. Here, in the heights of the tower, it was just them and the quiet rhythm of the falling rain. Hope stirred in them gentle and quiet like the rain. The journey ahead was long, but in this moment, it didn't matter. They were here, full of life, and the ruins, in their own forgotten way, were beautiful. They closed their eyes and listened, allowing the sounds to wash over them. For a moment, the journey didn't feel as daunting. There was still so far to go, but the rain's soft touch brought a sense of calm, of renewal. The tower still loomed above them, endless and vast, but in this brief pause, it felt as though time itself had slowed. The climb would continue soon, but for now, they allowed themselves to simply be, letting the beauty of the rain carry their spirits, even as their bodies rested. The long journey ahead felt just a little lighter. Thank you so much for watching this latest video. I'm enjoying making these illustration videos that focus on a single scene. One of the things that first inspired me to make the Eternal Ruins was these small, peaceful moments in a large and strange place. So I'm trying to get back to that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to follow the channel and leave a comment. You can also check out the Discord if you want to discuss the project with other wanderers. If you're interested in prints or stickers, you can get them on my website, 
I've updated this tool with a bunch of new prints, so be sure to check it out. Link for those is in the description. And if you want more Eternal Ruins content beyond the videos, you can join the Eternal Ruins Patreon. I post step-by-step -step process notes on my illustrations like these, and also monthly lore pages that document different encounters in the ruins. Patrons also get a discount on the print store. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.